Hello, my name is Zyra Graf, and I'm here at the Virtual World's Best Practices in Education conference at the poster section of the conference. We're standing in front of my poster submission entitled Open Simulator Tools and Methods for Virtual World Arts Presentations. So the art objects in this installation include media on a prim where you can basically have the internet the web or video within the virtual world QR codes hover text that give information in front of the objects note cards and various scripts most of these things um, people in Second Life are probably familiar with so then the question might be what does this have to do with Open Simulator, which is another um, engine for virtual worlds? And the answer is that everything here that you're seeing, including my avatar and the building, are um, able to be done in Open Sim. All of the objects, information, tools on this poster installation are actual copies of my objects in. OpenSim regions that I imported using the Imprudence viewer. So this building uh, is from OpenSim Creations. That's OpenSim-Creations.com and the art set that's in the corner in the building and some furniture is from LindaKelly.com L-I-N-D-A-K-E-L-L-I-E.com now, Linda Kelly has made an amazing amount of high-quality objects, buildings, clothes, hair, sculptees, etc. Practically anything you might need to populate a virtual world freely available for people to use as OpenSim resources. And because these objects from OpenSim Creations and Linda Kelly are under a Creative Commons license, you are able to freely make changes including changing the build or changing the color, anything that you might want to do. You're able to use these items freely, especially with Linda Kelly's work. Uh, but <laughs> what I wanted to talk about, one of the mo most important tools, I think, or resources for open simulators, is actually one of the ways you can host an open simulator region, and that's with Kitely virtual worlds on demand that's kitely like flying a kite www.kitely.com i have a virtual office in a, a kitely virtual world there my students can visit me to talk to me live um i teach fully online courses so this building with the different furniture of course and objects is my virtual office I was also able to use one of my virtual worlds as part of a museum exhibition using Kitely. The museum itself and museum visitors were able to log in and immersively experience artwork of mine, including all of the interpretive information, and see art installations that are no longer available for viewing or impossible to move because I also do land art. and so they're able to experience these things in a manner close to real life experience walk through the pathways that I've made or around um, some of the land installations that I've done and you can visit this world uh, there's a note card that each visitor is given as they pass through the doorways of this building so I'd like to talk about some of the points about using Kitely you can create a Kitely account fairly easily using an email address, uh, your Twitter account, or a Facebook account. There's no need for you to create a new account, and it's a, the easiest, I believe, I've been in virtual worlds for a while, the easiest way of getting into a virtual world that I've found. Uh, using these Twitter lists or Facebook groups, you can also control who will access your on-demand virtual world. So you can have just your students visiting uh, your virtual classroom or your virtual office and you don't have to worry about what else they might encounter in a virtual world. 
according your, to your subscription level for Kitely, you can have one or many worlds. So it would be possible for you to have a different world for each course in the same way that you might have a different web page for each one of your courses. And again, these have controlled access that you can change each semester uh, or each quarter or according to the course. Also, using Kitely world information, they give you information about who's vi visited the on-demand world. So you can track your student visits and see how much time they've spent in world as you would with a fully online learning management system, you, you have that kind of tracking. Kitely also gives a list of public worlds that are available. So one of the issues is that Second Life might have a more diverse offering of educational or museum bills. I believe the potential is there for, for OpenSim itself and for Kitely especially to have those kind of resources as people start to use it more and Kitely gives you a list of which ones are available for visiting. So it would be a cost-effective and versatile tool for virtual worlds education. So you can visit the websites I've mentioned opensimulator.org, kitely.com, opensim-creations.com, or Linda Kelly, that's spelled L-I-N-D-A-K-E-L-L-I-E dot com. Thanks for visiting.